guys welcome to Adam's workshop this is gonna be a quick one looking at the what are we looking at today we're looking at the throttle throttle servo motor otherwise known as the throttle position sensor looking at a 2.3 liter engine um, let me show you what we got going on here we got the ATO 1104 automotive scope and I have all four channels plugged in, but as you can see, channel three and four is just sitting right here, not being used at the moment. We're using channel one and two. Channel one is the yellow trace, blue is channel two. And if you follow it over, you can see we have, we have our grounds. There we go, much better. As you can see, we have our grounds piggybacked on the positive or bleh, battery negative. Bear with me, guys. It's already midnight. Only time I have to do this stuff is late at night. I've been working real late lately. I live in South Texas, and everybody is wanting their air conditioners diagnosed and fixed. So it's keeping me pretty busy. Anyway, as you can see here, Here's the throttle position sensor. We got six wires here. That's as much as I can zoom in. We are plugged into the white with blue trace. And what is that? And it looks like the black. I can't see if it has another color. Go find out real quick. find out real quick here it is yeah just plain um plain black so we're the white with the blue trace and the black here what i'm gonna do is i'm going to set you guys up here looking at the scope i'm going to point the scope towards the driver's seat Um, I had the other two channels plugged in because I was gonna connect to the powers and ground as well. I figure there's really no point. I mean, it's obvious we're getting powers and ground, right? We're getting our signals. I would think if we didn't have our powers and grounds, we wouldn't have our signals and, well, and the car wouldn't start and run. Nothing wrong with this car. I just wanna show a video. Um, also what I did, is I went to the automotive presets. I went to sensors. And if you can see that, I went to sensors and I went to throttle position sensor. Okay, down here it's only mentioned in connecting um, one channel. Um, but I got two and I'll show you why. Um, you're gonna see like be, for safety reasons, you got to have um, two controls going to the computer. So if one fit, so the computer has one to compare to the other um, for safety features. I'm not going to go into all detail about that. I'm sure you can look it up. All right. Um, let's see. Time base. We're at 500. Um, what is that? Microseconds. Microseconds. Yeah, US would be microseconds, and then under that would go NS, which would be nanoseconds, MS would be milliseconds, and S would be seconds. So 500 microseconds, I believe. I don't know why it just doesn't sound right, but it just could be because I'm tired. All right, um, we're both at 5 volts, 5 volts for channel 1. There we go, much better. Five volts on channel one per division, five volts for channel two, five volts per division, 500 micros, microseconds per division on our time base. So as you can see, like right now, the blue trace, let's see, at five volts, we're five, 10, so it's pretty much battery voltage. And you see it drops down to ground. So it's going, um, 
on off on off basically it's either I'm not sure if it's a power switch well I'm assuming it's a ground side switch circuit anyway as you're gonna see when I when I give it gas they're gonna switch the yellow one which is now at 12 volts when I put the pedal to the floor it's gonna pull the ground which is gonna turn it on and then the blue trace is gonna go opposite you'll see what I'm talking about right here let me walk over here all right I'm gonna do a few throttle snaps starting right now look I'm gonna hold it down watch you see I'm going slow see how it switched yellows pulled to, when I let off it goes to power and the blue gets pulled to ground Well, the blue is um, appears to be being pulse width. Um, I guess we can maybe we can see what the frequency is here. Um, I like to do it this way. Oh shoot, I lost it. Uh, bear with me, my friends. It is late. I worked until about 10:30. Ate some dinner. You know what? I'm gonna stack these. That way it kind of gives us a, let me put that right on the line, put channel one right on the line. This way it gives us a little better um, view of what's going on here, or it helps me anyway. Um, what were you going to do? Okay, we're going to go frequency meter, we'll put channel two, and let's see. 309, 400 hertz. Let's go measurement, channel two. We'll go mid max. What happened? Channel two, mid max. Can y'all see that with my big hand in the way? Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Take those off. I'm gonna go channel one real quick. Frequency, there we go. Now channel two, min, minimum, maximum. I like doing a meme. Um, duty cycle, let's do duty cycle. Negative and positive. And positive, I hate when I push a button and it doesn't freaking acknowledge it so there we go you can see it fluctuating um, it's being pulled to ground 11 pretty much 11 percent of the time and being pulled to power about 88 percent of the time can you all see that there we go um, all right now y'all can keep an eye Keep an eye on the duty cycle for the blue trace and y'all should see a change when I give it some gas. I'm just going to do a few throttle snaps, I'm going to do a few quick ones and a few slow ones. Here's a few quick ones, that's four quickies, I'm going to just do a gradual going down, going down to the floor, letting off, letting off, letting off, letting off going yeah you can see um i actually like to pull up the and i actually like to all right so we knew the frequency on both of them is about 400 hertz so let's get rid of that i want to go um min max we don't need the frequency i want duty cycle negative positive yeah, we can throw the frequency in here. We have space. We can throw a few. Th we'll go here. Min max. Um, mean. Peak to peak. Frequency. Right. Uh, uh, pulse width. Or no, duty cycle. There we go. And now we'll do the same thing on channel 2. Go min, max, 
mean duty negative and duty positive. There we go. All right, check it out. Get rid of that. Now, now let's watch our duty cycle on both of them. Slowly to the ground, slowly let off, and then a few quick throttle snaps. All the way to the floor and let off. Alright, pretty neat. I'm gonna go ahead and do, let's see, pause it, do a quick save. I also want a snap of the screen and do a little bit of recording on this one. Um, all right, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, Y'all seen it? You seen it here first, my friends. Oh, I do. I'm probably like the 10,000th guy that's done this. But probably the only one that's done it on the mix sig. So there you have it. Throttle servo motor slash throttle position sensor on a Mazda 2.3 liter engine. That's it, guys. All right. Thanks for tuning in. If you are already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. What happened here? There we go. If you guys are already um, subscribed to my channel, thank you. I really appreciate the support to everybody subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, feel free to check out a few of my videos on the channel. If you like them, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I uh, keep making more and more, more ideas I come up with. The more support I get, the more I tend to get involved and the more videos I make. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.